Hi family and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel subscribe to be a part of Didi family and let's start with the video so today I just want to say that I really love my eyelashes that I have on the eyes today and it's this Ego Urban Beauty and uh, Kylie Kylie so so eyelashes that that are collab lashes and i love that it has the name of the lashes on the packaging so i don't forget what kind of lashes i have but these are the ones that i had on the new year's eve and i actually for the first time in my life found the eyelashes that are beautiful glammy big volume but also i can wear under my glasses i can wear these and they are not touching my glasses i love that let's start with the video this is the final project pan video so let's see did i succeed or did not succeed what do you think guys let's start with a product that is kind of very hard for me that has so many of these to heat pan in and it's the eyeshadow palette i wanted to heat pan in some of the shades and didn't succeed I also didn't use it the whole month like I said that I would because I fell in love with a couple of other palettes that I've been using a lot and this I also borrowed this to my sister so she can play with the shade so I didn't have this palette for two weeks so I didn't use it a lot and I do like it and I think it's a beautiful palette so I do recommend it but I didn't hit the pan I think I'm very close in this color and I did kind of dig in deep in others but this one is almost I almost hit pan in this first shade and I think I'm going to hit pan in one of the shades at the, to the end of the 2019 but I do have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and also probably will buy a lot of eyeshadow palettes this year so didn't succeed with that product but the product that I did succeed with it's this and this is the cleansing gel from Impure and I was up to here and it's empty I don't have it anymore I did like this product I do have one more that I'm going to definitely use something I'll definitely can see myself purchasing in the future but I'm not going to do that right now because I do have a full size left to use but I do like it do recommend it I love this product so I did succeed with that cleansing gel I like that okay the product that I also succeeded with it's this elf brow pen and it's the one that my friend Valerie uh, sent to me and I'm finished I don't have it and I was happy to see these in stores in Sweden so I'm very glad that I can purchase it myself I think they're wonderful products but I do have a lot of other eyebrow products that I'm going to use up but I do recommend this pen uh, okay and I, I succeeded with that okay then we have the eyebrow gel that I really didn't like the packaging of I mean I didn't succeed there is this much left and I'm going to continue using it but I just don't like like I said in my last video update video the product the only part of the brush that product comes out on it's this tip of the brush and then I do have to smear it put it all over my blend it all over my eyebrow but I'm going to continue using it but I didn't succeed to empty that one also the one that I didn't see to finish is this Derm Densifier Eye and Lip Contour from Ecurine, I don't know how to pronounce this brand, this is, but this is an eye and lip cream. Down here I do have a little bit left of it and I can't see where I am but I know where I, where I do have to push to get the product out. So I'm down here, last time I checked in I was up here but I'm down here right now and I'm definitely going to finish this in January because it's a good product. Do, am, I, am I going to repurchase this? Maybe not because I do like to try other eye creams but I do like this product. Then a product I'm also almost finished with it's this Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5%. Last time I did an update I was up here and I'm down here right now. So I'm almost finished with this product. Am I going to repurchase it? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I didn't see any di big difference in my under eye area. Um, still get puffy, maybe not as puffy as I used to. 
dark circles are still there, not maybe as intense as they were. But I'll definitely try other products. I do like this brand. I think they're wonderful. I like the idea behind it. But I do have a couple of products that I'm going to try out that I'm very curious about. So right now I'm not going to repurchase this one. But do I see myself in the future? Maybe. It's a good product. Then I almost finished with this Revolution Pro Pore Primer that I have. I'm down here. So I maybe have maybe three uses left. Definitely going to finish this one. I do like this product. I won't repurchase it because of the packaging. If you watch uh, my, my last video, I talked about this packaging in my last video, update video. I'm going to put the code up here. I do like the product. I don't like the packaging. So I won't repurchase this one. Okay, then the one product that I knew that I won't, wouldn't finish because I just started using it <laughs> when I came up with this idea. It's this Mineral Primer Oil Free from Hourglass. I love this primer. I was the first time when I did the first video, I was up here. Last time I did an update video, I was up here and I'm down here right now. Definitely going to continue using it, but I'm kind of sad. I do want to continue using it and not continue using it because I don't want to finish it because it's a beautiful part of product and also makes my skin look like silk but it's expensive product but I can't just have it because it's expensive but I do like this and I think it's one of the best primers I do have another primer that I really love from La Mer La Mer it's not La Mer Lancome from Lancome that I really really like but I think this is worth the money if you haven't tried it I do recommend it I love this product definitely going to use it and repurchase. I can see myself repurchasing that product. Then I'm almost done with this beautiful MAPR Duo Multiplex Moisturizer. I maybe have four or five days left of this product in the packaging. I don't know if you can see it. And I do like it, though I won't repurchase it because it didn't do anything that dramatic on my skin. And I think it's a beautiful packaging, I, but it's a little bit expensive. I'll definitely try the new one that they just released for a couple of months ago. But I do like it. But I have so many, so many face creams that I want to try out and want to play with. And I did purchase a couple of them. So definitely not going to repurchase this one soon. Then I also am finished with, almost finished with this uh, eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer that I really, really recommend. It's from Wet n Wild. If you watch my videos, I do have a very oily eyelids and not, there is not many products or primers that will work on my eyelids for at least 9 or 10, 11 hours. I do need my foundation or my makeup to stay on for at least 10, 11 hours because I do work, I do work the full time, long days. And I do need to look beautiful because I'm around people every day, all day. And I do need my primers to work. Really need. I'm almost done. I didn't mark anywhere because I'm almost done. Maybe I have one or two times uh, to use this left. But I do like it and I can definitely see myself repurchasing this one. Though I won't repurchase it soon because I have a couple of other good prim primers to use up. I did a video that, where I tried over 30 different primers and a couple of them worked for me. So I do need to use them up before I go and repurchase this. But I would definitely repurchase in the future because I do do like it and I do believe in this one. Product that I didn't succeed to hit pan in, but I did use it every, every day. It's this uh, Smashbox, the Kaylee, uh, Kali, Kaylee Contour Palette. I love this palette. <coughs> Sorry. And I've been using it every day. I almost hit pan in the bronzy shade. Dig deep, did dig deep in this one. But I've been using these three shades and the highlighter almost every day. Uh, but yeah, I didn't hit pan in it. And uh, definitely going to do because I'm going to continue using it. I like these two shades. I do like the blush also. Um, maybe not going to hit the pen in it, but this shade definitely the bronzer. It's what I have on my eye, on my face today. I have these three shades on today. Oh, no highlighter. Oh no, I forgot. I forgot to put highlighter. Going to use Esco One or One. How could I forgot to put highlighter on today? 
it's a nice highlighter. Not my favorite, but it's a good one. Like this palette, do recommend it. Then I do have uh, this lip lip product. This is lip uh, gloss, lip glass from uh, Buxom in Celeste. I mean, I was where I was last month because I didn't use it as much as I wanted it. Wanted I to put some on today. I wanted to hit pan in this. I love this lip uh, gloss and I think it's beautiful. Definitely can see myself repurchasing it. I'm going to continue using it. Probably hit pan during 2018. 2019. But I do like it and I do want to try more of uh, Boxon products. I haven't tried anything else except this one. I'm very curious because I do like this lip gloss. So like I said in my last video, stop using this one because this thing doesn't work. Didn't hit pan, not going to hit pan now, but probably during 2019. I also used up this product. This is the cleansing toner or clarifying toner from this brand. I do like it, can see myself repurchasing it. I also finished this product from Lancome, fix it and forget it. Up to 24 hours makeup setting mist. I love this setting mist and I'm very sad that I finished it. Definitely going to repurchase it. it repurchase this one. I don't know why people don't talk about this enough because I do really like and I think this is better than Urban Decay All Nighter. I did try or bought the um, trial size from Urban Decay because everybody loved that setting spray so much so I had to try it. If you know me, <clears throat> if too many people like something I'm definitely going to buy and try it but I didn't really fell in love in, the, in that setting spray. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't either the best one. I don't know if it just didn't work for me. I'm definitely going to purchase that one in the future, try it again. But something that I love from the first day, and it's this one. This is the Fix It and Forget It from Lacombe. This is the new setting spray that, I, that they released 2018. And I really, really like it. This is uh, non-sticky, oil-free, paraben-free, silicone-free and fragrance-free setting spray. So. If you haven't tried it, please do that. It is expensive, but it's worth the money. I love it. Love it. So guys, I think that was everything that I had for this video. That is how it went with my products. Some of them I did finish. I'm almost done with. And some of them I'm not going to hit pan in a couple of months. So <laughs> I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. And... Uh, See you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.